to Year 2 Phonics, Lesson 24. Today is a morphology focus. Remember, morphology is magic. Let's have a look at our definitions. You ready? What is a morpheme? A morpheme is the smallest unit of meaning within a word. A base word. A base word is the main part of a word and it holds its original meaning. A base word can stand on its own. A prefix. A prefix comes at the start of the word. It changes the meaning of the base word. A prefix is not a word on its own. Let's have a look at some of the prefixes we've done so far. Dis, which means not, a part or absence of. Re means again. Sub, under or below. We did that one last week. Can you remember it in the action? Under or below. How about our suffixes? A suffix comes at the end of a word to give the base word a different meaning. A suffix is not a word on its own. Let's have a look at some of the suffixes we have learnt already. ED, ed, d, t, past tense. Past tense means in the past, ed. S, plural, more than one. Ing, happening now. Er, one who or comparison. Est, greatest, more than or most. How about a root? Last week we did a root. Our root, a root is a part of a word that can generally not stand on its own. A root word part needs to be joined with a prefix or a suffix. Our root that we learnt last week was, or last time, might not have been last week, but our root that we've learnt is form, which means to shape. Let's have a look at our learning intention for today. Our learning intention today is that we're going to use the Latin root port to make words. Let's see how we go. Port. Port means to bring or carry. Think of someone carrying some suitcases, porting them around. Port, to bring or carry. You might have heard the root port before in some words like these. This here is a passport. So it means you can go and you carry that with you when you travel. This is transport, carrying people around to different places. This one's a teleport. You can go from one place to another really quickly if you teleport. This person here, mostly probably see them at fancy hotels, this is called a porter. He is the person who carries or brings your bags for you. He's a porter, person who, er. Uh. A report, telling you about what you've already done. And an airport, the place where the planes come and go. And you can carry the people on the planes, airport. So it's a little bit like the word form we did the other week. So remember how we said that a root can generally not stand on its own? The word port, it can stand on its own as well. So a port is a place where boats come and go. So you can have a port as well. Let's get ready to try and make and read some words using our root port. Let's have a look. I'll do one with you and then you can freeze and try and read some and see how many real ones you can come up with. There's a lot on here that don't make real words, so don't get tricked. You ready? I'm going to try dis, part, absence of, let's see, disport, disport, it's not a real word, don't use dis at the start of port, hmm, unport, I don't think we use that either, it's going to make your reading nice and quick isn't it, I'm going to try re, I'm going to let you work out the others and see if they make sense. I'm going to have report er. What's that make? Reporter. Er, any person who, port, to bring or carry, and re means again. So the person is bringing or carrying information that they have found out so that we can hear it again. Reporter. Pause the screen, have a look, see if you can read some more words that might make sense and be real, 
words when you combine the prefixes and suffixes with our Latin root port. Okay, how did you go? Did you find lots of words that didn't make sense? We're really trying to trick you this week and make sure you really understand what you're looking for. You should have found these ones, or you might have found these ones. Re, port, s, reports, more than one report. Re, poor, ting, doing it now. Re, poor, ted, in the past. Re, poor, ter, person who. They're the only ones that go with report, but we can also, you don't have to add a prefix and a suffix. So if we just added a suffix to port, we could get porter, or we can actually add two suffixes. We can have port -ers, more than one porter. That's really tricky. So not adding a prefix, but adding two suffixes. Er, person who, and s, more than one. Porter, Porters. Tricky. Hold that in your head because that might be a clue for later on in this lesson. Okay, let's use our Latin root port with some prefixes and suffixes in words and see if we can work out their meanings. We've got the word here, reporter. Prefix, re, suffix, er, reporter. Porter, ports. Reporting. What I'd like you to do is to write these words on your page. So make sure you've got something to write with and write on. Pause if you need to and come back. And then write these words. Are you ready to write the words? You can either pause the screen and copy them off the screen or I'll help you sound them out if you want to have a go of writing them and a bit of spelling practice. So you ready? First word is reporter. R -e -p -o -t -e. Reporter. Write it down. Next word. Porter. P -o -t -e. Porter. Next word. Ports. Ort, s, ports. Last word, reporting. R, e, p, ort, in, ng. Reporting. When you've got those four words, ready to listen to the meanings and match them up. Okay, so you've got your four words, you're ready to go? Now I'm going to get you to write a little A, B, C or D next to your words as I give you a meaning. So if you think that A means a port, you would write A next to the word port. Okay, so let's see. What are we up to? Oh, A. Our definition for A is more than one harbour. More than one harbour. Hmm. Which word means more than one harbour? Reporter, porter, ports, reporting. Write A next to the word that you think means more than one harbour. Our second definition, our second definition is talking or writing about something you have observed. Hmm. Talking or writing about something you have observed. B. Which word is going to have B next to it? Reporter, porter, ports, reporting. Mm, tricky. Talking or writing. There's a bit of a clue there. It's happening now. Look at the words, look at the suffixes. Don't get tricked. C. You're going to put this letter by the word that matches this meaning. A person employed to carry luggage person employed to carry luggage. C. Hmm, who's that? A person who. Let's look and use our morphine magic. What morphine means a person who? That might help you work out the word. And the last one's D. 
You might only have one spot, but double check it's the right spot. The definition for D is someone who brings back information. Someone who brings back information. Put a D next to that word. Are you ready to check them? Okay, let's see. Did you get them right? A reporter is someone who brings back information. So next to reporter, you should have had the letter D. A porter, no re, just a porter. A porter is a person employed to carry luggage, which was C. Did you have C next to porter? A person employed to carry luggage? Talking or writing about something that you have observed is reporting. Reporting. The ing means now, happening now. So that one was B. And the last one, A, more than one harbour. Did you get it because it had that suffix S on it, meaning more than one? Or did you already know? That one was A, that's ports. Ports means more than one harbour. Okay, port is another word for harbour. So it could be harbours, but we're using ports today. How'd you go? Give it a tick if you got it right. Check it, make sure you make sure it's right. If you didn't get it right, it's okay to make mistakes, remember? Then give it a tick and be ready for the next activity. We're going to use our Latin root port now to add some prefixes and suffixes and write some new words. You might have done this before, where we take a prefix, we take our root, we take a suffix, and we put them all together and make a new word. We're going to see if we can do some of those today. There's an example here for you. Re plus port plus s makes reports. I'd like you to pause your screen, have a look at the grid up here, and make as many real words as you can using these prefixes and suffixes and our Latin root port. Pause, have a go. When you've found all the real words you can, come back and check. How did you go? There was a lot of words that didn't make sense in there. Let's check in and see if you got the ones that do. So we already had reports. You should have had that one. I gave it to you. Next one. Port, er, s, more than one porter. Porters. I did say that you added a prefix and a suffix. I probably should have said that you can add a prefix and or a suffix. You can choose whether you need one or not. Sometimes we can add one. Sometimes we can add two. Sometimes we only need to add one prefix or one suffix. Sometimes we'll add a prefix and a suffix. Sometimes we'll just add a suffix. Sometimes we'll just add a prefix. So lots of different combinations. So hopefully you managed to work that out even if I said add a prefix and a suffix. If you didn't, that's my fault, I'm sorry. Are you ready? Let's check the rest of these words. Re-porter. Reporter. Re-port-ing. Happening now, we're reporting about it now. Reporting. re port Reported in the past. Port er. Just one porter. I started with porter, so I had more than one. Normally I'd probably do one and then have more than one, but I got excited about adding two suffixes, so I wanted to do that one straight away. And the other one that you might have had, remember when we said you can just add a prefix or a suffix? Port and meaning more than one port, ports. So they are the ones that you should have had that made sense, that worked out really well. Check them. If you didn't have them, write them up, give yourself a tick and be ready to come back for the next activity. Our last activity is actually our learning intention. Let's check in and see how we did today. Our learning intention was to use the Latin root port to make words. I think we did that pretty well. We read some words, we wrote some words and we used the Latin word port, which means to bring or carry to do that. We added some prefixes and suffixes and sometimes we even added two suffixes, didn't we? That was something new today. All right, 
Last task before you get to go, your independent activity. Today, we'd like you to create a mind map of all the things you know about the morpheme root port. You might know other words we haven't talked about before that use the morpheme port. You can include those too. I'm gonna do a little quick example on the board for you, but we might just have a quick talk about it and we'll give you a little bit of an example to help you with this activity. Because I'm not sure if you've done a mind map before. Let's have a look at a mind map and how it goes together. So we've started with our Latin root port and from that, we just go with all the different ideas of the things we think about when we think about port. So for example, I know port is a root, it's a Latin root. And when I think about that root, I know that it means to bring or carry. I think about port, I think ports are places where boats go. And then I think, oh, ports can also be called a harbour. So they're kind of ideas that connect each other to the word port. I might think of report and an information report. I've written an information report before on a donkey. Report means to bring information again. Report, you might have a reporter. They might be reporting. They might have reported. So there's lots of different ways I can add prefixes and suffixes and think about their meanings and add to this mind map. And it's just wherever your mind takes you. So your mind map might be really messy. There might be some ideas that connect to each other and there might be all sorts of different words. And, but it's up to you. What does your mind think of when you think of this Latin root port? What kind of words, what connections do you have? Have fun getting all your ideas down in your mind map. I'll catch you next time.